Hello everybody and welcome back to Alaris Labs YouTube channel. As you may know, the new version 3.5.8 has been released and here we are going to list the most important features and changes. As not all features and corrections will be discussed in this video, you are welcome to check the full list of the changes in the release notes. You can find the link to the release notes under this video. Like Ares, products can be marked with the checkbox is test starting from this version. Test products are highlighted in orange. Additionally, the checkbox considered as test carrier in carriers. Carriers interface has been renamed to is test. Starting from this version, you can specify three currencies in the section financial model of the system setting interface. If you fill the three fields, the system will add separate columns margin, revenue, vendor costs, etc. for every added currency in the analytics interface, as you can see on the screen. To hide the financial data in the web center for a specific user, the following permission can be used now. If you deactivate the mentioned role, the information regarding the balance, statistics of campaign, costs, and average price per SMS will be hidden. In the swap deals interface, you can notice a new button clone, which can be used to clone the deal. By clicking on the button, you can specify a new manager. The start date can be also changed, but only to a later date. The end date can be set at your discretion and is active checkbox can be used to activate the deal after cloning. If the checkbox is not set, the deal will be not active. We have added an opportunity to collect active calls from several switches. In the interface soft switch editor, you can notice the new checkbox used in active calls. By activating it, you need to specify the login, password and table name. If access is granted from the switch side, the system will collect the calls and demonstrate them in the active calls interface. In the agreements interface, you can notice two new fields in our duration rounding function. These functions will be applied before the increments to influence the duration. For example, if the duration of the call is 159.7, it will be changed depending on the function as it is now shown in the screen. Before this version, the archive with the prices was ignored by the importer if the archive contained a subfolder. Now, if it contains several files in different folders, all files will still be imported. As you may know, in the SQL code it is now possible to use tags to edit the text. For example, in the following column has the following value R, the text of the column will be highlighted in red as you can see on the screen. In this version we have added the new tag WR which will activate the text wrapping where the line is too long. A new field vendor condition has been added for the routing rules of the type block. It contains only vendor metrics. If the condition for a specific vendor is true, such vendor will be rejected. In the previous versions it was not possible to refresh statistics for closed deals. Now, even if a deal is closed, the stats will be updated using the option refresh statistics. If the cubes for this period are not present in the system, you will get the following notification, and the group will be marked with the following sign. The new parameter in Quirelink response timeout seconds can be configured for vendor channels. It is a period for which the switch will wait for the vendor in Quirelink response. If two hour inquiry links were not answered by the vendor, the channel will be unbound. If the field is not configured and is set to zero, the system will check the internal configuration or take the default value which is 30 seconds. You can create a template that can be downloaded and used by your clients to prepare a file with contacts before uploading it to the web center. Here we have added two new buttons by clicking on which you will get the mentioned template. To upload a template in the system, please contact our support team and specify the following code. Two new fields – email address to CC rates updating and email address to BCC rates updating – have been added. You can use them to send a copy or hidden code to the specified addresses on every export. The logic of the voice rate export interface has been reworked. Now, if the export doesn't include any rates, and the option Send via email is chosen, the email will not be sent and you will be able to see the following status Not sent, export is empty. You can notice a new option in the Invoice Delivery Option System Settings parameter. It combines the first and the second types. The invoice will be delivered as an attachment and the link will be also inserted. If your partner follows the link, the status of the invoice will be changed to delivered. 
In the interface outgoing email accounts, you can notice new server type service notification, which will be used only for the outgoing email accounts interface. Additionally, in the mentioned interface, the field type is divided into two fields mail list type and outgoing mail server. In the first field, you can specify which addresses from the agreements need to be taken, and in the second field, the required mail server. The parameter MCCs from the price list to be imported can now be found in the system settings interface. If no MCCs are specified, the parameter will not be activated. Alternatively, you can prepare the list of MCCs which need to be imported. For example, if you will fill the parameter with a single MCC 250, then all other MCCs will be ignored during import. The new contract company name marker can be used in the invoice traffic details and red export templates. As you may guess, it will be replaced with the name of the contract company to which the carrier is assigned. If you need the system to return the field's technical details and translate the text by using the method SMSEDR, you can ask our team and provide them with the following code. The marker invoice reference number can now be used when generating invoices and traffic details. Previously, the invoice reference number could only be used in the file name after invoice recalculation. If you try to delete the POI that is assigned to the product employed in any routing rule, the system will return the following notification. After removing the product from the routing rule, you will be able to delete the POI. If you will open only the client side and the voice and SMS analytics interfaces, as it is demonstrated on the screen, the system will export only the CDRs where its last field is equal to 1. By adding the vendor, the system will return also the CDRs where its last field is equal to 0. Permissions in the category SMS routing rules have been reorganized. Now the name of the category is SMS routing and it contains the following rules. This combination gives an opportunity to create a flexible set of permissions. Now the time zone chosen by the export module will be specified in the header of the file as you can see on the screen. The new system setting parameter default analytics view has been added to the SMS analytics section. It allows specifying the default layer that will be open first. For example, if you specify the core source product, the following layer will be displayed as you open the interface. You also need to log in into the system before the setting is applied. The new field MCCMNC converting rules was added on the second step of the SMS write import. Using regular expressions, you can change the MCCMNC presented in the file before importing it into the system. You can also see the tooltip where you can find some examples. The carrier's name and other information regarding the call will be hidden in the active calls interface if the user doesn't have enough permissions. But the user will still be able to see the carrier's IDs as you can see on the screen. The opportunity to add a credit limit for new web center clients has been added on the contract company level. Here you can specify the limit and if it is left blank, the system will check the following parameter in the system settings interface. Starting from this version, it is not possible to start the campaign in the web center on a past date. You can now specify the date starting from the current moment. In the interface EDR Explorer, you can use a regular expression in the following fields. It is useful if you need to fiddle the EDRs using more complex criteria. The expression must start with the following symbol and end with dollar symbol. The symbols signify the start and end of the expression respectively. For example, to find all occurrences of the combination 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, use the following expression. It is now possible to fill our data in the columns in the contacts tab as you can see on the screen. Now it is possible to monitor HLR services and their statuses. You can configure a threshold of a successful request. If such requests exceed the mentioned threshold, our monitoring system will send an alarm to our support team. Now the metric message length is equal to the number of bytes needed to encode the text in an appropriate data coding. The calculation is the same even if the message is received over the HTTP protocol. Templates in the interface template manager are now displayed depending on the contract company to which the user is assigned. If the contract company of the user is Alaris, all templates assigned to other manager companies will be hidden for this user. If no company is specified for the exact template, it will also be displayed. Depending on the granted permissions, the same logic works for accounts specified in the templates. The new column and field account manager name have been added in the carrier section. 
They represent the manager specified in the account section of the same interface carriers. If several accounts are assigned to the same carrier, the following symbol is displayed. If no manager is assigned to the account, the system will insert a dash. Starting from this version, the default SMS billing option will be set to Bill by Submitted when adding a new SMS product. The new product type SMS Pack has been added. It is the product that was created after the pack in the web center was bought. The chart description differs from other charges and has specific columns names as you can see on the screen. The opportunity to sort templates has been added on the step 2 of the process of creating campaign as well as on the templates page. Here are the possible options. It helps you organize your templates and find the needed one. The new report NPS per vendor was added. It represents the average of the messages sent to the vendor per second for the specific period. Now, the filters for the vendor and country columns in the test system interface can be used separately from each other. In the previous versions it was needed to specify a vendor before checking the available country. Now the country can be used first as you can see on the screen. As you may know, the interface rate compilation contains the option calculate MCC rate as highest of its networks. The logic has been reworked and starting from this version will influence only vendor rates calculation. Suppose the vendor products contain the following cause, and we are trying to find the rate for MCC 250. The vendor rate will get the following price, as the system calculates the MCC rate as highest of its networks. The monitoring traffic will now be hidden from the SMS analytics interface. Well, these are all technical details that we plan to describe in this video. Hopefully it was useful for you. In case you have any questions regarding the new version and the features that were not described here, you are welcome to contact our support team. If you have any suggestions regarding the channel development, we'll be happy to get them in the following email. See you in the next lesson. And thank you for watching.